Hey everyone, Josh Baldwin here with Vegan Fit. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to deal with your family members during the holidays. This is a really complex issue for a lot of vegans out there that are concerned about being judged or concerned about what they're going to eat at different holidays. So I want to help you guys out, give you some of my tips and a few other tips that I got from other vegans that I talked to. So first up, let's talk about how to approach the negative questions or the passive aggressive questions that a lot of us get during the holidays from family and friends. You got a couple different choices here. The first one is going to be go with the kind of nice and positive angle. So if you get a lot of questions uh, and you feel like you're kind of under attack, you can simply be really positive about it and state all the great things that veganism does for you, does for the environment, does for the animals, and that's a good approach for a lot of people. The other side of that would be to get the more aggressive approach. This is the one I like, but everyone's different, whatever works best for you. So if someone wants to give me a hard time about veganism, then I'm going to give them a hard time about being overweight or whatever their problem is that they're unhealthy i'm going to give them a hard time about killing animals or whatever it may be if that's the approach they want to take with me i find the aggressive angle works really well for me to get someone off my back but maybe that doesn't work for you and the nice approach is a great option for a lot of vegans another great tip is to bring an amazing delicious vegan dish that kind of blows people away so if people are getting on your back about vegan food and how hard that must be if you've got this incredible pie or this incredible mac and cheese or whatever dish it may be it just totally flips their brain around. They cannot believe that it's even vegan. That's a great way to kind of kill that conversation and all that negativity about veganism, and you get to eat some great food for the day. Another great option is just don't go. This is a really common problem for a lot of vegans, so they just decide, like myself, just don't go to these family gatherings. You don't have to worry about finding something to eat. You don't have to worry about getting shit from people or getting judged. You just have your own little Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever holiday it may be with your own friends, your own family that is cool with the veganism, and you'll make a lot of new friends in the vegan communities. So make sure you go online and you can find different vegan groups in your area that have get-togethers, and you'll make your own vegan friends, and you'll have plenty of family members who are cool with veganism, that want to try it out. Maybe they'll come to you, and you have your own smaller get-together, but it's all delicious food, there's no judgment going around, and it's just so much more laid back. And I find for most people, it's actually way more enjoyable. And last, but definitely not least, is to turn those bastards vegan. All those friends and family members who are kind of judgmental on veganism, if you do go, show them that there's great food, educate them about the positives of veganism, and try to make sure they understand why you're doing it and all the great benefits that come with veganism. And again, to me, the best way to do that is show them that vegan food can be just as good, if not better, than the food they're currently eating, but also educating them about the harm to their bodies, their health, and obviously the animals and the environment, all that kind of stuff. Have all that knowledge with you so that you can spread that information and you'll be shocked at how many people you can at least make kind of give veganism a shot. Uh, I find that the more I talk about it, the more I'm able to have really good information on my side, then people are far more willing to give veganism a shot and a lot of them end up sticking with it because they feel so much better. So hopefully these tips help you guys remember that you should not be intimidated by these gatherings. Start your own if you want, but if you do go, be proud of your veganism, proud of the fact that you're helping your body, you're saving animals, you're saving the planet. Be proud of it, talk about it in a positive way, and you will turn people vegan or at least get your family off your back a little bit. So let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shut down.